Yeah, this is a new link, uh, Abhishek. Am I audible? Sorry for the trouble. Am I audible? Hello all, am I audible? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good evening, Bharat sir. Very good evening. Yeah, thank you for your response. And sorry for the trouble. So here I'm having a network issue. So that's why it's a new link. Okay. So let's continue our session. So next I will tell you the live class versus internship. So now I am going to explain the difference between the live class and also the internship. So through the live class, you will get a free session for the three days. So last for the three days and after which we will delete that video from YouTube. And, in, and also in live session, I will provide only the demo and you will get an idea about electric vehicle design or a, on a particular topic. Suppose if you are an internship user, you will get recorded session and also complete simulation models on how to uh, make the model and how to select the blocks and where to take the blocks from the library like that. So you will also get uh, mentor support and finally you will have 30 days. In your live class, you will get 21 days free session and internship, internship you, will hit, you will get 30 days. So additional 9 days of recorded content you will get uh, through this internship class. So this is a main difference between the live class and internship. So next you can convert this master class into one month internship. And what are the benefits you will get uh, through this internship in, in the sense you will get 30 days of live sessions and 90 days of limited PDF. So 90 days of access to recorded content. And 8 plus source codes and also 30 downloadable presentation and internship confirmation letter and also internship certification. So next, I will tell you for the internship user. If you are an internship user, you will get the uh, 5 to 6 projects nearly. If you are an internship user, you will get 5 to 6 projects. So this is the final project of electric vehicle. So finally, you will make... EV half car model. So this is the uh, simulation model and this is the output of the EV half car model. And this is the final project. So you will get a final, you, you will make the EV half car model. So this is your final project and also you will get the battery pack. So this is the battery pack simulation and next project is the active cell balancing. So this is the active cell balancing simulation model. So this is an important simulation model. If you are an internship user, you will get the simulation files and you will get the PPTs and you will get uh, the recorded content. So how to make this model and how to uh, pick the block from the library and how, uh, how to use this uh, simulation model, how to connect all this one. So this is the final project and this is the project 2. This is the battery pack simulation. And next one, you will get the active cell balancing project. So tomorrow, I will show you the uh, next three project for an internship user. So this is the project names and this is the benefits of our internship. So the actual price is 199, but we are offering the discounted fees that is just 799 plus 18% GST. So use this registration link to join an internship user because this uh, offer will be closed on 7-6-2024 uh, and this is uh, only for the limited time, time period. So next, how to make the payment? You have to fill your name and mail ID and also WhatsApp, mobile WhatsApp number and department and also your uh, institute and domain. So this is a way to make the payment. And this is the agenda for your internship classes, internship recorder classes. So from the day 1 to day 30, you will have a vehicle modeling, powertrain modeling and microcontroller for the electric vehicle. 
and also sensor circuit design, grade drive design, and EV model fabrication. So protocols for the EV application. So additional nine rates of records you will get uh, through this internship. And also we are offering exclusive three in one intern internship offer that is a three in one EV design bundle offer. So through this EV design bundle, you will get three big master classes. So it's nearly um, yeah. from the EV design, you will get 30 days and uh, PCB, you will get uh, 10 to 12 hours of recorded content. And also MATLAB Simulink, you will get 30 days. So it's approximately you will get 70 hours of a EV design, PCB and also the MATLAB Simulink recorded content. And what are the benefits from this uh, bundle? You will get 90 days of live sessions and one year validity of records and 20 plus source codes project. And also you will uh, get community groups and 90 downloadable presentation and internship confirmation letter and also internship certification. So these are all the benefits of your uh, internship. So do you have any doubt uh, regarding this internship? Please mention in the chat box. Do you have any doubt? So Sudhir. So I am using MATLAB 2022B version uh, Sudhir. Do you have any doubt regarding the internship? Any doubts? So again I will tell you, you will get exciting projects through this internship. Okay, so next we will see acceleration force. So we know acceleration forces, these are the forces that is need to, needed to change the speed or a direction of the vehicle. So there are two types, one is linear acceleration and angular acceleration. So next, what is the formula for this? So we have to find the total tractive power. So what is the formula for this total tractive power? That is a P equal to total tractive force multiplied by the velocity. So what is the total tractive force formula? So P equal rolling resistance force and aerodynamic force and also hill climbing force and acceleration force and also angular acceleration force. So this is the formula for that. So next we have to find the energy consumption. So what is the energy consumption formula? So the energy integral of P track, uh, tractive force multiplied by the dt. So here the energy is consumed by the vehicle in motion. So that is calculated by integrating the traction power over the time. So this is the formula for that. So basically acceleration force is a force that is needed to change the speed of the vehicle. So it depends on how quickly the vehicle speed is changing. And the total tractive force and the total tractive force includes the acceleration, aerodynamic, rolling resistance and climbing force. So why we calculate this energy consumption here? So we have to calculate energy consumption to understand how much uh, power a vehicle uses. So this helps to understand, evaluate how efficiently the vehicle operates. And how estimate it operational cost like that. So this is the way you are going to calculate your energy consumption. So this is a formula for that one. So first we have to understand the power formula. So what is the power formula here? So the power uh, torque multiplied by omega. So omega is nothing but a speed of the vehicle. So this T is nothing but a torque that is produced by the motor and which is a measure of its rotational force. And omega is nothing but angular velocity of the motor shaft that is represent, representing its a rotational speed. So relating a power to the vehicle speed. Here uh, the speed of the vehicle that can be related to the angular velocity of the motor through this, through this equation. So the P equal T multiplied by velocity divided by R and multiplied by G. So G is nothing but what? That is a gear ratio and R is nothing but a radius of the wheel. So to find the critical velocity, this is a formula. We can use this formula. Because the critical velocity is nothing but a maximum speed at which the vehicle can operate without exceeding its uh, limits. 
So by finding this uh, critical velocity, we can ensure the power generated by the motor that is sufficient to propel the vehicle. So that is safely as a maximum speed. So by using this formula, we can determine the power required to achieve the critical velocity. So this helps us to understand the motor is capable of providing the enough power to propel, propel the vehicle at its, at its maximum speed. So without overlading or straining the motor. So this is a formula for the energy consumption. So next we have to do the calculation. So this is one example. So I am going to take the mass of the vehicle. It should be 280 kilogram and width of the vehicle is 705. So I am going to calculate 2 meter. So 0 0.705 meter and height of the vehicle it should be 1080 millimeter and length and also the friction coefficient and yak density and also the uh, rolling coefficient and drag coefficient CD and also the area and gravity and angle of inclination is a uh, 6 degree. So that is not a 60 that is a 6 degree. So next one is the tire radius and also the velocity. So using these uh, values we can perform a dynamic calculation to determine the various factors such as the rolling assistance force. So we have to calculate the uh, first we have to calculate the power. So what is the power formula? So total tractive force multiplied by the velocity. So total tractive force is nothing but uh, summing up all the forces. Aerodynamic drag, rolling resistance and gradient resistance. So here I am not taking the uh, taking that uh, acceleration force. For understanding purpose only I am going to calculate this one. So first we have to calculate the aerodynamic drag force. So this is the aerodynamic drag force formula. So half a rho. Rho is nothing but a air density. And CD that is multiplied by A and multiplied by the V square. And what is the formula for this? So this is a formula and we have to calculate the aerodynamic drag force. So that should be 89.179. So TDF is nothing but a total tractive force uh, by that. So next we have to calculate the rolling resistance force and also the gradient resistance force. So this is the formula for that. So you have to use that formula and you have to use that uh, value. So which I gave the before uh, slide. So this is the rolling resistance force uh, value and this is the gradient resistance force value. So these calculation it help us to understand the forces acting on the vehicle. And also it determines its performance and also it determines its character characteristics under different conditions uh, such as the speed, uh, terrain or uh, aerodynamic factors like that. So next we have to calculate the total tractive force. So we have to sum aerodynamic and rolling resistance and gradient. So what is the total tractive formula? What is the total tractive force? So that, that should be 412.006 Newton. So finally you have to calculate the power. What is this power? So power is how fast energy is used for transfer. transfer. So in this case it, uh, it's how fast the motor can make the vehicle move. So based on this only we have to select our motor. So what is that uh, power value? So that should be 1.0. 30 kilowatt so that means a thousand thirty watts so we calculated the motor it needs to be produced 1.3 kilowatt of power to move the vehicle efficiently so to be safe i am going to choose uh, uh, we, we choose a motor with a slightly higher power rating so i am going to approximately i am going to pick 1.2 kilowatt that means a thousand two hundred watts so this ensures the motor can handle the workload so without struggling or without overheating. So this is the way you are going to select your motor power for your electric vehicle. I hope everyone can understand this calculation and also understand this uh, entire session. So do you have any doubt means please mention in the chat box now. So this is the way you are going to select your uh, motor power for your electric vehicle. So do you have any doubt? Do you have any doubt means please mention in the chat box.
Any other doubt? So if you are a, a live class user, that means YouTube free session means you will get only the certificate. Yeah, which formula, Harsha? Which formula? Yeah, thank you. So, how was the session? Yeah, once again, I repeat just a minute. So, this is the total tractive force formula. So, what is this total tractive force formula? That is, uh, we are going to sum all the forces, aerodynamic force, rolling resistance force and gradient force. So, finally, you have to calculate the total tractive force. And after that, we, will, we, we have to calculate the power. What is the power formula? So, the power formula is nothing but total tractive force multiplied by the velocity. Yeah. Thank you. So, any other doubt? Okay. So, thank you so much. Thank you for your active participation. So, once again, I tell you, if you are an internship user, you will get exciting projects. So, these are all the projects. So, finally, you have to make the EV Hofkar model like this. So, this is the output of that uh, project. So, this is a final project and also this is the additional project battery pack and also this one is active cell balancing. So, tomorrow I will show you remaining three projects. So, Prasad, this only for the rated power for the motor. Any other doubts? Yeah, thank you, Harsha. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all. So, once again, I tell you, if you want only this uh, internship, that means uh, EV design internship in the sense. So, the actual price is 199 and we are offering discounted fees. This is just 799. So, if you are an internship user, you will get like these projects and also we are offering bundle so exclusive three in one bundle that comes with the ev design pcb and also the matlab simulink so thank you so much thank you for your active participation thank you all yeah thank you chemistry thank you Any other doubt means please mention in the chat box. Otherwise, we will end up the session. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thanks to everyone who joined today's session. Thank you so much. So, Sai Krishna, this free certificate uh, that is useful for your resume, but if you are internship user, you will get projects and also additional knowledge and mentor support also. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Anil Kumar, the same way. So, this is a common calculations for uh, what are the forces acting on a electric vehicle. Yeah, thank you, Gomati. Thank you. Thank you so much.